In this video, I'll show you how I created this simple ad flyer for my drone services in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. This video is proudly brought to you by my drone services. If you are anywhere in Ghana and you need a drone for your wedding parties, and any other event church events all events that needs a drone services you can contact the number on the flyer and then we can talk business now let's get into photoshop and let's get started before then a link to download all the resources that i used will be in the description if you want to use any of these resources you can download them for free so this is going to be a very simple design so let's start off with the size so for the size we are doing this for social media so normally i would use eight by eight so that the resolution will be increased a little bit i'll keep my resolution around 300 and then i can go ahead and click on create first off is the background so for this design i use a very simple basic gradient to add a gradient you go to the fill adjustments layer over here and then you select your gradient now you can click on your gradients here and if you already set or have other gradients in place you can go ahead and use them if you don't you can just click on the sliders over here Click on the color and you can set your colors. Pretty simple. I've already set the gradient for this. So I'm going to choose the gradient right over here. This is the color that I'm using in case you want to use the same thing. And this is the second color if you want to use the same thing. Now you can go ahead, click OK here and then OK here. For the properties, we're going to set the style to radial. And then we are going to make sure that this is brought up here slightly. Next up, we can go into our resources and bring the first background that we will use in this one. To do that, you go to file, place embedded, and then you can locate your design resources. And now you can bring in your image. So you realize that I got almost all of these images from PNG Egg and PNG Wing. I have a video on a list of PNG websites that you can download free PNGs from and use it and use them for your works. So we'll select the image that we want or the background and then we'll click on place. Now all that you need to do is push it up here till the part that you want. You can as well adjust it to the very size that you want. So somewhere around here, and then I can open it up. Now to blend it with the background, you can use the blend mode. So you go to the blend mode over here, and then you start going through the parts or the ones that works for you. So you can go through all of them. Anyone that works for you, you can use it. For this particular video, the one that worked very well for me, was the color dodge so i'll choose this one it is too much in the background so i can decrease the opacity so i can slide my opacity way down till it blends nicely with the background so i can keep it at 21 for instance now this is fine the next thing we want to do is we want to add a rectangle to this so let's choose the rectangle tool here select your rectangle and then you can create a rectangle around here so we want to create a rectangle that will cover up see these ones that we have on it we don't want it to show so you can create a rectangle like that and then you can go ahead double click on this layer thumbnail and you can change your color to white You're keeping it very simple and very clean after you're done with this you can go ahead and bring in your main subject which is the drone so i'm currently using the dji mini 2 and that is what i downloaded for this particular video so you can bring your drone over here and then you take your time to position that as well you use the controls you can press ctrl t transform it and then you can bring it somewhere around here now this white background here seems a bit up so let's bring it down slightly and then you can bring the drone down as well so you want to make just a room for the upper part here okay so let's push this up slightly like that as well and then you can press ctrl t select your drone press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly as well now the rest of the things will basically be the test which is going to be very simple so i try to keep the font that i used in this tutorial also very simple and minimal so we we'll go and pick our test to t for the shortcut and then we are going to paste our first test so for the first test we are going to use poppings okay so for the poppings you are going to use the bold italic once you paste your test over here you can just transform it press ctrl a and make sure that it is in the center now we want to make the drone here stand out so we can select just the drone choose your test tool 
you make the selection and then you can give it a color for instance this color right over here so that it stands out you can also pick a color something similar to this this one is cool okay and then we can click okay so that it blends with the background as well next up with the same font we can just copy and paste our next test right over here but this time around we are not using the italics we are using just the ordinary poppings medium so once you bring it here you can press ctrl t and transform it slightly so that it can be somewhere around here you press ctrl a and then you can center it and that means that this drone has to go a little bit to this side or a bit upwards like that and then you can transform this side so that it doesn't go close so close to the edge okay so somewhere here will be fine let's push the rectangle up slightly like that and then we can push this also here press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like this press ctrl a and then you center it i just don't want it to be so close to the drone so somewhere around here should be fine i just realized that it, the whole rectangle has been moving up so let's select the rectangle and open it up like that so the next thing is going to be the reasons why the features that comes with this um, drone the reasons why the person should try to get this for the event so to do that we are going to create a rounded rectangle so you select a rounded rectangle you can create a very nice simple one here and then what we are going to do is we'll right click go to the blending options and we are going to apply a gradient on it so we will select our gradient and then we can go to the gradient and select the first gradient that we created so we will select the same gradient click ok here for this we are going to uncheck the reverse so that the blacks will come over here and we can increase the scale too so that it blends in it kind of blends in and not like one-sided and then you can click ok over here now on top of this shape you're going to put a test that states the reason why the person should get this drone if you are writing in a shape you hold shift so that it doesn't blend with the shape i've already copied my test so i'll paste it right over here now this shape is not centered so let's select this press ctrl a and center it and then we can select our test press ctrl a and then we center that as well you can press ctrl t and transform it a little bit like that press ctrl a and then you can center it now we are going to put the reasons over here so for that too we will pick our test tool left click over here i've already copied the test so i'll paste it right over here now what i did basically here was that i just selected these whole ones and then i bold in it it's it's basically the same font but for this side i use the medium medium version of the font and for these ones the one that looks bold you select it you go over here and then you change it to bold is is that very basic right so you can bring that somewhere around here you make a duplicate drag it right underneath of it now this looks pretty big so let's press ctrl t and try to transform it slightly now before i forget this first off let's go to view guide and set a guideline of say 50 percent vertically so that we can devise our canvas into two and know exactly where to post or position these ones so i'll then go back to my test make a duplicate bring it down here and then paste the second one so i'll select the entire test and do the paste right over here now i'm going to select these two press ctrl j and drag it to the left side here i'm going to leave a bit of space here because we are going to add the icons to it so let me just push these ones slightly here and then i'm going to edit this one so i'm going to select this one edit that to this test and i'll select the whole of this one too and edit it to this particular test over here now if you feel like this is too big for you you can select the four tests that we've made over here so let me just select this one i think this one wasn't bold enough so let's select that choose semi bold for it so let's make this one bold okay now we are going to select the four tests that we made so you select the first one you hold shift and then you select the fourth one and then you can press ctrl g to group that From there you can press ctrl t then transform it to make it a bit smaller like this now you can press ctrl a and then centerize it now let's go ahead and add the icons to it so for that i'm going to zoom in right over here 
get rid of this because we don't need it anymore so the first icon will definitely come over here so let's open our groups and on top of that we are going to add the icons so for the icons you go to file place embedded and then you bring in your first icon so the first one is 4k so you bring the icon in transform it very nicely and neatly and then you can position it somewhere around here so it has to be around the side that is fine now let's add a touch of gradient to it so we go to so you remember the gradient that we added to this rounded rectangle okay let's copy the same thing onto that particular icon that we brought in so to easily do that you hold the alt and then drag the fx onto the layer that you want it copied on and it just copies onto it very simple like that so you bring the second one in so you go to file please embed it and then this one is going to be extended flight time so that will be battery okay and then you can take your time to transform it and then you can put it up here you can bring this side slightly up like that if you want to you can bring your guidelines in here so that it guides you as to whether they are aligned okay so you can put this here or better still you zoom in some more so that you can very much see it so you can bring it to the exact line here and i think this is okay it's not that far from each other if you have the time you can just take your time to do that and if you get a time to it will be better it makes your work look better so let's drag it up here and then copy this effect onto it i, I believe you remember how to do that alt and then drag the fx onto it simple like that right now this is too close let's bring it back a little bit and bring the 4k also back slightly like that now we are going to do the same thing for this side as well now for this particular one here it doesn't have like a plain background so you just need to pick your magic one two or the quick selection tool you left click here and then you can get rid of the background it's pretty simple but the rest of the process is the same for the last one i couldn't get an exact one so we need to open the numerous ones that i got and it's about storage so I got these many ones from PNG Wink. You are just going to select one of them that works for you. So I decided to go with this. You can go with any one of them. So you pick your rectangular marquee tool and then you make a selection here. You press Ctrl J and then you can send it into your work. So you press Ctrl T and then you can transform it nicely. You remember how we brought in the ruler for this particular one? You can do the same thing here. So you bring your ruler up there like that. You can zoom in some more the more you zoom in the more it's it's able to identify exactly where to fit so you can bring your ruler here and then that means that we need to bring this one down slightly like that ctrl t and then you can transform it neatly like this you hold alt drag your effect on it and then you are good to go now after you're done with this you don't want the ruler you can just drag it back to where it came from select this one too and drag it back to where you came from for the middle one well you can decide to leave it over there to make sure this is really aligned we can as well decide to bring it here slightly so that the ruler can actually do the divide if you press ctrl h2 every ruler that you have on there canvas will be gone for instance if i bring my ruler here we have two rulers at the moment if you press ctrl h it goes so that you can see exactly how your design looks like without the ruler and at the same time you can press ctrl h to bring it back so that you can have your perspectives right but that said the last thing that we want to do is to create a call to action so for that we are going to use a rectangle so we create a very simple rectangle over here right underneath of all our tests press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then you can copy your effect onto this we are making we are abusing this effect but it is fine so on top of that we're going to select our test tool hold shift and then we can paste our test right over there so you can press ctrl t increase your test to make it bold because it is very important after someone deciding to contact you this is where they are going to contact you so you know it makes sense to make it very bold and then we can open our rectangle tool we have some space there slightly like that so that the test can go up a bit like that and just like that ladies and gentlemen you create a very simple very very simple 
ad flyer for your business now you can easily replace this drone with any of the services that you are offering for instance if you are selling mobile phones or any other thing you can easily replace this you get the fair idea you just get a heading for your flyer and maybe what you are offering your services or the value for the gadget or whatever that you are selling i you get the point with that said if you are in need of a drone for all your events as listed on the drone you can hit up the number on the drone and then we can talk business i'll be getting value out of this video don't forget that a link to download all the resources is in the description you can download practice and in case you do you can send them on ig instagram or facebook twitter anywhere and then i'll take a look at it for you thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video if this was helpful subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye